Hey y'all, it's Raj with EV365, and today we're looking at the J Plus Booster 2 Mobile Charger. All right, y'all, there it is, the J Plus Booster 2. Um, and for those of y'all that follow the channel, you know I'm always on the lookout for um, EV charging equipment that's kind of got a cool, unique look, is well built, easy to manage where the cable's not too difficult to manage. Um, and this J Plus caught my attention when I saw it online while I was shopping for some other EV equipment. So I reached out to them and they were nice enough to send this out to me to review. Um, and what I'll tell you off the bat, it, it is a premium product. So they sell this for about $599 um, starting. And then depending on what type of cable you get, I've got the 25 foot cable. Uh, the, the initial one comes with a 22 foot cable. Um, and then you've got different connectors for plugs that will come with it. Um, depending on what you add to it, it's got a mounting, uh, a mounting bracket. Uh, yeah, so depending on what all you add with the package, the pricing kind of changes. Um, but like I said, it sells for about $599. So it is a premium product, um, but it does have some specific features that I think make that price worth it. And on top of that, it is a unit that you can use both as a mobile connector, take it around with you, but also use it at home for the day-to-day -day use um, because it does get you up to 48 amp 40 amps of charging. That's very rare to find on, an, on a mobile connector. Um, this unit is built in Germany, so it's got that you know kind of quality, and it is branded over in Europe as the Juice Booster. So, um, so those of you in Europe, y'all may be familiar with that. In the U.S., they rebranded the J Plus because there is another manufacturer of uh, EV charging equipment that's using Juice in their branding, um, and they do have an office here in the U.S. So J Plus, the American arm of the company, is based here out of the United States. Um, so yeah, we'll just kind of get into the unit a little bit and I wanted to point out the few key things that make this thing really stand out. First of all, you can see that it's built really well. Um, it's got these rubber caps on the end. So this unit, if it falls on the ground like mobile connectors are tend to do, um, it's not going to damage the unit itself. It's protected by those rubber caps, but even if the, the unit itself does hit, it's made out of an aluminum, like a military grade aluminum casing. Um, so that is rock solid. Um, and the unit is IP67 certified. So you will not find many mobile connectors, if any out there. Um, I don't think I've reviewed any that have that rating. So what that means, um, the six in that IP67 means it's dust proof, sand proof, um, but the seven means it is truly waterproof. This thing can be submerged in water and then used. Of course, there's no reason for this ever to be submerged in water. Um, but what that tells you is that the unit um, can basically handle any type of weather condition that you're gonna throw out it. So even if it's like torrential downpours and it's just getting rained on, or even if you're washing the car and you hit it with a hose and, and it just gets a ton of water that way, snow, sleet, hail, this thing's gonna be able to withstand it. Um, and of course, one thing I always like to point out with units that are used outside, um, how good it works outside is also dependent on how secure your plug is in the outlet and making sure that that casing is also NEMA certified in some form or fashion for outdoor use as well. Uh, but again, this unit itself can handle anything you throw at it from a weather standpoint. Um, and then the second key thing that I really love about it, you see these connectors over here. I've got a NEMA 1450, a TT30, and then your standard kind of wall connector, you know, 120 volt that you'd see. Um, so the unit is dual voltage, so it's gonna work on 120 volt uh, service or on 240 volt, volt. So you can get up to your NEMA 1450, which probably most people are familiar with if they're plugging in at home. Um, but yeah, like I was saying, it comes with all, you've got the option to get many different connector types to fit your needs. Um, so yeah, if you're somebody who wants to plug into your NEMA 1450 at home, they've got a connector for that. If you're somebody who camps and goes out to RV parks and things like that, this TT30 is a real common connector um, that you'll find out there. Um, and then of course, if you need to just do an emergency trickle charge, either at home or if you're out traveling and you're at a friend's place or family's place and they don't have a 1450 outlet or a 50 amp service, um, you can just plug into the wall 
and uh, and get a trickle charge. And it's got several other connectors as well, which I'll point out to you. The unit does come with this really nice case um, and it is large enough. It's very easy to get the cable um, in and out of. Um, and it does have Velcro on the bottom. So if you uh, throw this in the back of your car and you've got felt back there, it's gonna stay in place. But yeah, this case is, it's, it's big and sturdy, but it's small enough to where it's gonna fit in. Like in our case, in our Rivian, it fits into the trunk great. It fits into the gear tunnel. Um, and then if you need to, you can throw it in the bed of the truck. Um, yeah, but I wanted to let you know about the different connectors. So you can also get, um, you know, I mentioned the NEMA 515. You can get a NEMA 520. You can get a NEMA 615 a NEMA 650, a NEMA 1430, a NEMA 1450, which we've got here, and a NEMA TT30, which we've got here. So all different connector types. So you can see that this unit has the flexibility to meet whatever um, outlet need that you have. And that's what makes it great. So if you're somebody you know who's into adventuring and going out and about and doing things like that and are traveling around and you need access to different connection types, um, this one will provide you with those. And typically when you order it, it comes with, you can uh, spec it to come with one of your 240 volt connectors and then it'll come with your 120 volt connector. And then you can add on other connectors um, as an add on to your order. And just something else I wanted to point out, it comes with this certificate. So every time they um, manufacture one of these units, they plant a tree to kind of offset that. So as an environmental consultant, I appreciate that. I appreciate companies that, that are cognizant and aware um, of their impacts and do stuff to kind of offset that. And then it comes with this user manual, which is real professional looking. Um, so again, just a great, great looking product and everything is consistent with what you'd expect with kind of that premium offering that they have. Um, so yeah, now I'll show you, oh yeah, a key thing to point out of course is the connector, which is real robust. It's got this, uh, it's made out of a nice thick plastic. The connector itself is plastic as well, but that's a thick, thick plastic. I'm not worried about that breaking, even though it's not metal. Um, but it's, it's all encased really well. So that's gonna be really good at resisting water and dust and things like that as well. Um, and right now the unit just comes with this J1772 connector. Um, and with the recent news with Tesla laying off their charging team, We'll see how this transition over to Nax goes, but of course, if that happens, um, you know, this unit eventually will be available with a Nax connector, I'm sure. Um, but you can charge Tesla vehicles using it if you've got the adapter that comes with your Tesla vehicle. Um, so yeah, so let's go ahead and plug in. I'm gonna plug in this NEMA 1450 uh, plug and just show you how easy that is and how secure it is. So you just pop these caps off. Um, and you can see that it's got like a nice strong metal metal base there and it'll click right on you just line up these red dots and it'll click into place and there it is super secure um and and what i like about that is this isn't gonna, like if you're tugging on it and trying to get to your vehicle it's not going to pull out or lose a connection most mobile connectors these days they just kind of slide right in so that connection can be loose um and uh, this one is gonna just lock into place. And then again, to pop it off, you just lift up and pull that connector right off. So really nice design there. Um, and again, most of the vehicles, like even the Rivians and Teslas, they produce their own mobile connectors, but a lot of them aren't, aren't coming with them anymore. So if you're gonna buy one kind of aftermarket anyways, I suggest looking at this one, um, just because it offers you so much flexibility and it is even more robust and more secure as far as being able to use outdoors than those units are. So yeah, let's go ahead and get this one plugged in. So the unit itself actually does come with this mounting uh, bracket and I'm gonna show you how, to, how we use that. So the bracket itself is made out of, again, really strong material, really nice. And this black thing I've got on the back is not part of the bracket. That's what I just mount my brackets onto. Uh, but it's really easy to use. You just take your unit, get the cable in there, slide it through and pop it into place. And you can see that's real secure. And if you want to make it even more secure, you can get one of these locks that J plus does sell on their website. Um, of course you can get these on Amazon as, as well. They're used for luggage and things like that. And there's two holes here that you can just slide that into. And then if you lock it in place, somebody can't come over here and pull the unit out. It's basically secure. 
And then you can also throw this on to the top of the unit and put it over here. And that keeps somebody from popping this thing up and taking this cable and running away with it. So it's got some security features, which is great. And the mounting bracket allows you to obviously get your connector on here along with the booster. So if you're using it for day-to-day -day home charging, um, you know, you can put everything in place. The one issue I have with it, there's nowhere as far as cable management. So you're just gonna need something that you can hang on the wall, maybe a hook for your cable. Or if you want, you can leave it laying on the floor. Um, and then again, and this is with all mobile connectors, if you're mounting them, you're really not gonna mount them this high because your plug is gonna be way up here and you probably don't have an outlet this high. Um, so really this, this mounting bracket, I wouldn't necessarily say it should be used in this format unless you've got an extension cable and then it's kind of pulling on that. So I don't recommend that. Um, I would say what you would use this for, say we pop that out, we'll plug it into our Neo charge unit here. And I would use the bracket down here just to hold your charging unit in place. That way, if you're pulling on the cable when you're trying to get out and charge your vehicle, it's not gonna pull this out of your socket. It's gonna pull against this and hold it in place. And I, I recommend doing that with all mobile connectors that are out there is try to get them mounted there. And a lot of them do come with mounting brackets or you can get aftermarket ones. But as you saw, this one that comes with the J Plus Booster 2 um, holds this particular unit in place super easy. And then if you're here at home, it's super easy to pop out, take with you when you're ready to go out um, with your vehicle and go camping, mountain biking, or take your connector on a road trip or something like that. So that's how I recommend using this unit, not necessarily hanging it up here like this. Um, so yeah, we've got the unit plugged in there. And one thing I like about the J Plus Booster, the mobile connector, it's real easy to use. There's not an app or anything like that. It's not trying to be a smart unit. Um, and I don't think mobile connectors need to do that, to be honest. Um, it just needs to be real easy to use, plug in, plug into your vehicle. And most vehicles nowadays um, are capable of controlling the charging speeds and when you speak, the scheduling and all that kind of stuff. So it just gets complicated, I think, sometimes uh, when you've got mobile connectors that are trying to do that as well. So really, if you wanna control the amperage that your unit is pulling, see this one's already detecting that it's on a 40 amp outlet, so it's set to 40 but you can adjust that and lower it to 24, to 32, to 20, 16. And then of course, if you're using 120 volt, you can get down to 12, eight or six. And you just pick that button and set it there. Um, and then of course, that's something you can and should probably set on your vehicle on what it's accepting as well. And again, for this unit, it's a mobile connector, um, but it can get you up to 40 amps of charging, which is fantastic. Uh, most mobile connectors, again, like I said, the ones that Rivian makes, that Tesla make, um, I got one with my Mini, um, and several others that I've looked at, they were all 32 amps as the max. This one goes all the way up to 40, and that's why I say it's a great unit if you want to use it even as a day-to-day -day, uh, connector, kind of like a wall unit, basically. Um, and then again, you've got the different connectors, so you can change those out depending on the outlet that you've got and the power that you can accept. So. Yeah, we've got this thing plugged in. Um, you can see it's lit up. We'll set it over to the 40 um, and we'll charge up the Rivian that we've got outside and see how it does. All right, y'all, here we are outside by the Rivian and we're just gonna get the Booster 2 plugged in. We've got both the truck set to 40 because the truck can take up to 48 on a level two charge. We've got it set to 40. And of course we've got the unit, the J Plus set to 40 as well. Um, just to be safe um, and that's the max that it can it can take and you can see we got that plugged in and on the Rivian It's really easy to tell when you're charging. So we're pulling a charge and we should see somewhere around 9.2 uh, kilowatts being pulled um, And one thing I wanted to point out with this being a four, uh, unit that can do up to 40 amps This cable is really thin for a 40 amp unit and I love that You know, that's a big thing and maybe one of the more frustrating things people run into uh, with charging equipment is just how thick the cables are but this one for a 40 amp unit, it's got a really thin cable, really easy to manage um, and get hung up or anything like that or, or rolled up and put, put into your truck after you're done uh, charging. So we'll let this run for an hour, see how it does, see if there's any issues with any heating and then kind of wrap up after that. All right, y'all, so we've been charging for about an hour and let's just see if we've got any heating issues. No, this feels super cool to the touch. 
Yeah, the wire feels great. We felt it over there by the outlet and by the connector, everything feels good. And we were pulling about nine to 9.2 kilowatts throughout the charge. So that's kind of what we'd expect. So the unit did great. Um, so again, guys, this unit, I really like it. It's just a great looking unit. Um, and if you want something, like if you're somebody that goes out and adventures quite a bit and needs a unit that you can just throw into the truck, throw it in with other gear, it's gonna get beat up a little bit. You want the flexibility of being able to go to an RV park, go to a campsite, um, go to a neighbor's house, I mean a friend's house or a relative that you're staying at and be able to trickle charge. This unit gives you connectors that give you that level of flexibility, gets you up to 48, for, up to 40 amps of charge, which is awesome, rare. Uh, for mobile connectors with a cable this thin. Um, and it does come with a two year warranty, which is fantastic. And J Plus does have a presence here in the US. Um, so yeah, just a great unit. And even though it's priced a little bit high, I think for that premium price, it does meet the expectations um, that you'd want. And especially when it comes to being just such a robust unit. Like I said, um, this thing can get beat up. It can handle any type of weather condition. It's rated to handle all that. Um, and it's uh, UL and safety certified. So we definitely recommend this unit. Take a look at it. Um, we'll put some more details in the comments below. And if there's ever any specials or anything like that running or coupon codes, we'll be sure to add those to the comments and update those as we go as well. So ask me any questions you've got about it and uh, I'll be sure to get them answered. And thanks for watching y'all. Hang loose.